In this short video, we'll highlight the most important differences between MarketSite Classic and new MarketSite 10. The first thing you'll notice about version 10 is that MarketSite has a whole new look. It's cleaner, more uniform, and we've eliminated several layers of windows to make it faster and easier to get your work done. The most important navigational change is that the main menu is now here at the top of the screen. Just like before, clicking on any of these menu items will take you to the page listing the different items for the current dataset. The current dataset is indicated here. On the home page, we've added a list of recent items grouped by type. Just click on the item to go directly to it. We've grouped a number of items under your username here. We've also consolidated all the help and training materials under one help link. Datasets is now where you go to upload a new dataset and manage all the data in your account. It used to be called Navigator. It's also now an entire page with more space to do your work instead of a small window. Let me also point out this action bar. It appears throughout the application and shows the actions available for the area in which you're working. For example, in the variables section, these actions pertain to the variables listed below. You'll also notice that all the list pages for datasets, variables, crosstabs, charts, dashboards, and data views all have a common layout and similar controls for organizing the list. You can select which columns are displayed on the page using this control. You can change the sort order by clicking on the column labels. You can filter the list using column labels that have this arrow. Just click the arrow, make your selections, and then click Apply to filter the list. You can also filter the list by entering a search term in this box. Now let's take a look at one of the most important improvements in MarketSite 10, the new dynamic preview mode when designing crosstabs, charts, dashboards, and data views. We'll create a crosstab to show how this works. The designer itself should look familiar to MarketSite users. Everything is organized pretty much the same way, just with a slightly different look. We did move the name and description from the Basics tab to the Design tab. The big change is that now, as you design your crosstab, you'll get a live preview on the right, so you can see exactly how your crosstab will look when you're done. This is useful when you're not sure how certain changes to the design will impact the crosstab. Of course, if you'd like to turn the preview feature off, simply uncheck this box. If you want to see the whole crosstab, just close the editor. Opening it again is simple. Another benefit of the live preview is that you don't have to save the crosstab if you don't want to keep it. You can create it, view it, and then go on to something else without adding another crosstab to your list. This dynamic live preview works the same way in charts, dashboards, and data views. The final major improvement in MarketSite 10 is search. This search box will enable you to find any data set, variable, crosstab, chart, or any other MarketSite item across your entire account. Just start typing the search term and results will be displayed in this drop-down list. Items are grouped by type. If you see what you're looking for, you can just click on it. You can also click on the type of item, such as crosstabs, to see all the crosstabs matching your search term. If you hit the Enter key after typing your search term, MarketSite will display the full list of all search results. Well, that wraps up our quick tour of the new features in MarketSite 10. Thanks for watching.